Hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our live stream of Peek Inside the Tiger's Den for Digital War College Fair. We are so excited to have you all today. Make sure that you guys are commenting any questions that you may have. I do have a colleague here who will be assisting me tonight. So should you have any questions, concerns, anything that you need assistance with, please feel free to comment below, okay? So my name is Jer Caruso. I am a 2014 alum. Hi, Kimberly. I am a 2014 alum, turned admissions counselor, recruiter, and marketing specialist for the Tuskegee University. And we are so excited to have you all tonight for this virtual information session. So we're going to try to give you all as much information as possible. If there's anything that we have not answered um, during the presentation or if you have a question that just pops up, please feel free to comment below. Make sure that you like this video and that you, that you subscribe to the Tuskegee University YouTube channel so that you are privy to all information. Hey, Tanya, how are you? How are you? We're so excited to have you. So before we get started, um, I'm going to start the presentation so that um, we can go ahead and give you all this good information. Just give me one second. All right. So again, I am Jer Caruso from Tuskegee University, and today we're going to give you a peek inside the Tiger's Den. Tuskegee University accomplishes its central purpose of developing leadership, knowledge, and service through its undergraduate, graduate, professional, research, and outreach programs. We are looking for students who are encouraged and not only pursue their careers, but also who are of service to their community and who desire to remain active lifetime learners. Um, here at Tuskegee University, we are a school that definitely recruits scholars and we recruit change makers um, within the world. And so when it comes to our next set of scholars, we are looking for students who will be of service to their community and who will make a mark on this world. Okay, so before we get started, I'm gonna play a little video for you guys so that you all will get some more insight about what we have to offer here at Tuskegee. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next thing and we'll play that video later. So who are we? So Tuskegee University is located um, two, out, two hours outside of Atlanta, as well as two hours from Birmingham, Alabama. We are located in rural Tuskegee, Alabama, um, and we're also referred to as the pride of the swift growing south. Tuskegee University was founded July 4th, 1881 um, with our founder, by our founders and our first principal, Dr. Booker T. Washington. We remain a staple in minor minority academia today um, as we are a leader in many things. We produce over 75% of black veterinarians in this country. We are the number one producer of black female engineers in this country, as well as we have um, one of the top 10 oldest architecture programs. We were the first school in the state of Alabama to offer nursing as a major, as well as being the first in many other things. We were the first HBCU to have its own band, our Marching Crimson Pipers, um, as well as we are the home of some remarkable talent, okay? And we're gonna, as I'm talking about it, we're gonna move on to our history. So as you can see, Tuskegee was one of the first centers funded by NASA to develop a technology for growing food in space during human space missions. People don't really know this, but a cool fact about that is NASA actually partnered with um, one of our most notable professors, Mr. George Washington Carver, in creating more in creating and growing food in space. Um, also, as I mentioned before, we are the home of the first HBC band, the Marching Crimson Pipers. Um, we are the only college or university to be deemed a National Historic Park site by U U U.S. Congress. Um, we were the first HBCU to have a veterinary medicine program. And as I stated before, we produce over 75% of black veterinarians. Um, our campus is over 5,000 acres and most of that land is dedicated to our vet students as we do have a vet hospital on campus where students can get hands-on experience. 
Um, Tuskegee University also produces the most African-American general officers in the military than any other institution, including service um, university. So I think that's something that's really pivotal um, because here at Tuskegee, um, many people often know us for the Tuskegee Airmen. And we decided that we wanted to keep that legacy on. So we are producing um, more black officers in the military than any other school. And I think that's really pivotal. Also, we are the number one producer of African-American aerospace science engineers in the nation. Um, actually, our um, engineering program is extremely renowned. Um, they have an extremely high employment rate upon graduation. It's around 98%, as well as um, their median salary upon graduation is about $75,000, which I think is very pivotal for a student just coming out of undergrad. So those are some of the things and some of the history that we have here at Tuskegee. Just some quick facts and some things that um, students and parents typically want to know. Uh, we do have a 10 to 1 student to teacher ratio. We have about 2,800 students here on campus as of fall 2019. That is pivotal because it allows our students to have more, more of a one-on-one, -on -one, um, more one-on-one -on -one time with their professors if they are struggling with something um, or if they need any extra help, they're able to be on that name, that first name basis with their professors to establish more of a relationship because sometimes that can help you learn even more when you actually have a relationship with your professor and they understand how you learn. Um, here at Tuskegee, we offer 41 bachelor's degrees, 16 master's degrees, as well as five doctoral degrees. Um, our freshman retention rates are about 74% here at the university. Um, I, like I said before, I attended Tuskegee from 2010 to 2014, and it was the best decision that I have ever made. I met so many people. I was experienced to so many different cultures. Um, they experienced to so many different things that I wouldn't have normally gotten in my small town of Hinesville, Georgia. So being able to come to a university and experience other cultures and the way that others do things was something that was extremely beneficial to me. So we're going to move on to our requirements. What does it take to become a Golden Tiger? Our preferred applicants have at least a 3.0 minimum GPA and a composite score of a 21 or higher and a, com and a um, SAT score of 1080 or higher. For our first time freshmen, what you will have to do to complete your application is head over to our website, www.tuskegee.edu, to complete your application. We require a high school transcript as well as um, a test score. Um, so that may be your ACT or SAT. So as you see here at the bottom, it is extremely important that students know that if you do not meet our preferred requirements, you may be required to submit supplemental items such as essays, letter of recommendations, et cetera, to be considered for acceptance. So um, our dates and deadlines and what you will need to know is that um, students will need to apply. For our summer term, you need to apply by May 1st. For our fall term, it's important that you apply by, that you apply by July 1st in our spring term for November 1st. Um, it is important that you all complete your FAFSA early. Please list Tuskegee on your FAFSA if you do plan to apply because that allows our financial aid department to connect with that FAFSA and to be able to generate an award faster for you. That application opens up on October the 1st um, on the FAFSA website. So it is extremely important that you list Tuskegee on your FAFSA so that we can generate your award letter a lot quicker. So what are the top five majors that we offer here at Tuskegee? Our number one major is animal poultry and veterinary medicine. Biology is our second, along with nursing, mechanical engineering, and business. Um, although these are our top majors, we do offer a plethora of other majors here at the university that students can choose from. Some of these majors um, in the College of Arts and Sciences range from biology to sociology to English to political science to music. Um, we offer a wide range of majors so that our students have a um, more of an option when choosing their career path. 
Our College of Business um, and Information Science, we offer everything from accounting to hospitality management, all the way down to computer science. We want to make sure that our students are um, exposed to different internships and um, different co-ops and things that they can experience while they're in school. That way, when they graduate, um, they will have a better shot at getting a better job. Moving on to the College of Agriculture and Environment, Agriculture, Environment and Nutrition Science. Um, we have Animal and Veterinary Sciences, Agribusiness, Environmental, Natural Resources and Plant Sciences, as well as Food and Nutritional Sciences. Our College of Engineering, we have Aerospace, Chemical, Computer, Electrical and Mechanical Engineering. And we also offer Master's and Doctoral programs as well. For the School of Nursing and Allied Health, we offer health science, nursing, and occupational therapy. Something to point out is occupational therapy is a five-year program. Um, however, instead of graduating with just your bachelor's, you will graduate with your master's, which I think is amazing. Cut down on you having to spend so much money. And for those who may have to get student loans, it will cut down on that cost to make sure that you get the quality education that you need. Um, however, get it in less time. Next, we have the School of Education. As you can see, we have elementary um, education, English language arts, general science, mathematics, and physical education. For our School of Architecture and Construction Science, that's exactly what we have, architecture and construction science. Now moving on to our student life. Here at Tuskegee, we have over 300 student engagement activities for our students to engage in. That range from the Student and Government Association, something that I was a part of, which is the Tuskegee University Golden Voices Concert Choir, over to our cheerleading and our state clubs. Now, our state clubs are extremely important, is um, are extremely important because students may be coming from different states throughout the country. And so those students, let's say California. California is our third highest recruiting state. Over 10% of our student body comes from the state of California. And so coming to the South may be a little nerve wracking for them. And so we've allowed them to form a state club so that you'll, able, you'll be able to relate to someone um, who may come from the same type of culture and the same type of things that you're kind of relative to. Um, so we wanna make sure that our students feel at home while they're here in Tuskegee. And last but not least, we do offer um, our Divine Nine Greek organization. So for those of you who may not know what that is, those will be your deltas and kappas and sigmas and alphas and all the rest of them. Um, so we do offer them here at Tuskegee. So moving on to our athletic department, we are a part of the SIAC Division II Athletic Conference, um, and we offer men and women's sports from softball, football, basketball, um, track and field, cross country, baseball, tennis, and volleyball. Those are some of the things that our um, Golden Tiger athletes can choose from here at the university. And a quick fact about that, our um, football team is the most winning football team among HBCUs. So we definitely excel not only in academia, not only in extracurricular activities, but we excel in our athletic departments as well. So how much does it cost to get here at Tuskegee University? Our yearly tuition is $19,594. However, the total cost of attendance will be $32,523. So how can you pay for that? We do offer several scholarships for our students to take advantage of. Um, those scholarships range from our Distinguished Presidential, which comes with full tuition, room and board, and fees and $800 in books. Um, the GPA requirement is a 3.7 or higher, the ACT is a 27 or higher, and the SAT is a 1300 or higher. All the way down for our in-state students, we offer the Tuskegee University grant, which is $8,000 per year. The minimum GPA requirement is a 3.1 GPA. Composite a ACT score is a 20, and a SAT score of a 1030 or higher. For our in-state students, um, we have the Alabama Incentive Grant, which is $5,000 per year plus housing. That is a 3.1 GPA or higher, as well as a 20 on the ACT and a 1030 on the SAT. But as you can see, we do offer other tiers in between that. I just wanted to kind of give you a range. So I'm going to open the floor up for questions. 
Should you have any questions or concerns, please, 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 please mention those in the chat so that we can um, so that we can get your questions answered. All right. So it says, Kimberly, has a decision been made on test scores requirements? Students with 4.0 trying to apply for scholarships, but current algorithm is a challenge. Okay, so as it currently stands, we are going to a test optional stage, um, which means that um, students can apply um, test optional if they have a 3.0 or higher. Um, now, as far as scholarships are concerned, a decision has not been made as to whether we're going to waive that requirement for scholarships. However, as time moves on, we will make that decision and all students will be in the running to get scholarships. So you don't have to worry about, you know, you because you haven't taken the test or because you're not able to take the test that you're out of the running for scholarships. We're kind of going to see how everything plays out to see when we're going to make a decision about that. All right, Madeline. Hi, Madeline. Let me put this up. BGSU Educational Talent Search Advisor would love to set up to have a representative speak to my high school seniors from Toledo Public Schools. Most definitely, and I'm going to put my contact um, on the screen for those of you who may need it. It is Jerrica Russaw, J. Russaw at Tuskegee.edu. If you don't mind, please send me an email um, and I will be happy to get with you and set up a time to talk to your students. All right, let's see. Good evening. I miss your name. My name is Jerrica Russo. Jerrica Russo. All right. Lily Ray, biology majors. Yes, we do have biology majors. That major has three options. Um, the options are pre-med, pre-dentistry, and marine biology. So yes, we do offer biology here at Tuskegee University, and our students are able to get a lot of hands-on activity and a hands-on kind of experience um, by internship, by doing internships and co-ops and different things like that to make sure that you're going in the right path. No problem, Kimberly, no problem. Zoe, since I, let me put this up. Since I'm out of state, would tuition cost more? No, that is a great question, Zoe. No, it will not cost more. We do not have out-of-state tuition here at Tuskegee University. All of our students pay the same amount. So no, it will not cost you more for being out of state. All right, let's see this. Have you all started to accept people because I already applied? Not yet. Our application is not open just yet. Um, so if you have already applied, just sit tight. Um, we're going to start applying in the next, or start applying. We're going to start reviewing in the next couple weeks um, and begin to send out decisions. Okay. So we have not started. So you're not behind the curve. All right, let's see. Advice for high school juniors. Yes, Kayla, that is a wonderful question. My advice for you is to make sure that you are studying to take your ACT, SAT. If you can, if you can do some practice, practice testing. I know it's not open right now for you all to test. I completely understand. However, when it does open, I want you to be ready as well as make sure that if you can take honors courses because that can help you um, with your GPA here at Tuskegee. If you take honors courses, we reevaluate your transcripts. So for example, if you got a B in an honors course, we reevaluate that to an A. If you got a C, a B, so on and so, so forth. So trying to take honors courses is a good thing as well as if you can do dual enrollment. Dual enrollment is good with getting your basic courses out of the way so that you won't be in college that long. Um, so that is a, that, those are some good things that you can do now while you're a junior. Um, just try to buckle down and do the best that you can because when you start applying to college, your junior year, everything up to your junior year is really important. Your senior year is really important, but when you start applying that first semester, you're not gonna have you know, in grades that first semester on your transcript. So just buckling down and making sure that you do the best that you possibly can this year is extremely important. All right, let's see. Hi, Tanya. For dual enrollment students, do you accept transfer credits? My daughter will begin with her associate's degree. Yes, we do accept transfer credits. Now, what credits we transfer, that is depending on the school that she will be transferring in from, transferring those credits in from. For example, um, 
our math classes, sometimes they can be a little funny. Um, not that we don't accept them, but other schools generally have three three credit math classes, where here at Tuskegee, we offer four credit math classes. Um, so that student may have to take like an extra course, just kind of make up that extra credit. Um, but what happens is the department will review that transcript and will review that course curriculum um, against our course curriculum. So if the classes are similar, we'll take the classes. I hope that answered your question. I went the long route, but I hope that answered. <laughs> All right. Any film majors? Unfortunately, we do not offer film. We offer visual arts. Um, that will be the closest that we do offer for film. Um, we are a STEM school. Um, so visual arts and communications, that those would be the two things that we would offer that are close to film. All right. Madeline, what are your doctoral programs? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to get my paperwork um, so that I can answer that question. So sit tight, I'm gonna come back to you, okay? What student clubs would you recommend for students coming from out of state to get acclimated to campus, campus life? Okay, Crystalline, so I would wanna ask you where you're from. I'm, I'm hoping you're still on here. If you can, comment where you're from. State clubs are very important um, to do because you'll, you may meet some people who may be you know, from around the same area where you're from, that can help you get acclimated on campus. Um, students who come to campus their first week here at the university, you will be here with only incoming students and a hand-selected group of upperclassmen. And what that does is it gets you acclimated with your classmates before the kind of bum rush of the semester begins, um, as well as getting you acclimated to the campus. Okay, so you get acclimated with your classmates as well as getting acclimated with the campus. That way when the upperclassmen come and you know classes begin, you already feel kind of at home. You know where these buildings are. You don't kind of feel like a fish with that fish out of water. You're kind of acclimated to what you're going to do. And some of the activities that they do during that is they have the rites of passage, of course. They have a um, ball. They have a talent show. They have a lot of different things that they offer for students, as well as getting involved with your dorm step team. We do have dorm step teams that compete with each other, um, and they have like a whole competition for that. And whoever the winner is, they perform at homecoming step show. So those are some good things to get you acclimated with campus life and with your classmates so that you don't kind of feel alone. You already, you know, you're creating kind of your circle. Those are some things that we encourage for our students. Let me see if she answered where she's from. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't see it. Okay. No problem, Des. No problem, Zoe. When is the regular decision deadline? Okay, so we do offer rolling admissions. Um, so they're... The deadline, the hard deadline is generally in July. What I will tell students to apply by, I would say it would be best, especially if you're looking for scholarships, that you apply this first semester. Um, that will be the best decision um, because scholarship funding will run out eventually. So if you wait until you know March, April, May, June to apply, those scholarships may not be available. So trying to go ahead and get you know your applications done by December would be best practice. That would be my best advice for you. Hi, is it Alasia? Alasia, what if we have lower than 3.0, but we do amazing with our senior year with a strong recommendation letter? Yes, so um, if you have it below 3.0, what we require from you is, again, recommendations, essay, as well as you may have to test um, your ACT or SAT. Now, if, if, if you cannot test, that will be a decision that will have to be made moving forward. Um, but yes, we do require other su supplemental documents so that we can kind of look at who you are as a student. We don't want to just, you know, we don't just want to decline people um, simply because they may not have that 3.0. We are a university that believes in giving giving um, chances to our students. However, we are looking for students who, um, who will excel in college. We want to make sure that um, when we accept you, that we're making the best decision possible for you to make sure that you are going to do well. So we will look at everything. We'll look at your complete picture to make a decision. Alasia with AP classes. Oh, okay, with AP classes, we will reevaluate re your transcript. Um, sometimes those AP classes can help more than you know. All right, Brian, let's see. 
Are you all checking the Common Black College app? Yes, we are not doing it just yet, um, but we will when our application opens. We will be checking for the Black or the Common Black College app for applications there. If you did not place us in your top three, I would advise that you send us an email. And let me put my email up here one more time. I would advise that you send us an email. Um, or send me an email telling me to pull your application because if we're not in the top three, we're not going to see it to pull it. So make sure that you send us that email. Okay. Let's see. Where was I? Hmm. All right. Elijah, are, a, are SAT slash ACT required to get into school? We are doing tests optional. So if you have a, a book above a 3.0 GPA, then you can do the test optional. Op, op, you can do the test optional portion of it. OK, if you are below a 3.0 GPA, we will require supplemental documentation, which can include your test score. All right, Lily, what are the dorms like? Well, I think I'm the perfect person to answer since I stayed in the dorm here at Tuskegee. So our dorms are really nice. Um, our dorms, we offer, we do offer community shower dormitories, which means that um, the hall will share a shower. However, we do have our honors dorms, um, which will be that you would just share a shower with your neighbor. Um, so those are some of the dorms that we do offer here on campus for our students. Um, they are really nice. There are RAs on every floor. Your dorm mom is always really sweet. I love my dorm mom. Um, so yeah, the dorms are really nice. And if you want to see them, you can head over to our website, www.tuskegee.edu, and go to the housing tab, and they have pictures of all the dorms there. And we do not have showrooms, so what you see on that paper or what you see on that tab is what you get. And that's something I really appreciate, you know. All right, Elijah, let's see. No problem, Kayla. Do you guys offer a dental program? Yes, we do offer pre-dentistry, and that is under our biology um, option. So we do not offer a dental master's or doctoral degree program. However, we do offer the undergraduate requirement of a pre-dentistry um, major or a degree. So we do offer that. As you all can see, um, my director has commented. I'm going to read it out. Um, he said, greetings. I'm the director of admissions and recruitment at Tuskegee University. Although students will be able to select test optional, scholarship eligibility is based on GPA and test scores. So to reiterate what he's saying, if you want a scholarship, you will have to, you will have to submit um, your test scores. So if you do test optional and you want a scholarship, you're going to have to submit your test scores. All right, Kayla. <clears throat> Are there any marching band scholarships? Yes, there are marching band scholarships. I would advise that you visit the marching band tab, um, and that way you can reach the director, um, Mr. John Q. Lenard, and he will be able to give you more information about what you can do to try out for our band and possibly get a scholarship to join the Mar Marching Crimson Pipers. And that is one thing that I regret about being an undergrad. I wanted to be in the choir and I wanted to be in the band as well as a dancer, but I never did the dancing. I don't know why, but if that's what you want to do, don't be like me. Do it, girl. Do it. All right, Maddox, let's look. What can you do to prepare for college in the eighth grade? Wonderful, Maddox. That's a great question. So what you can do to prepare yourself for college in the eighth grade, I would say if you can take some honors courses um, because that can help prepare you for high school. Um, but making sure that you are reading like you're supposed to, making sure that you're staying on top of your assignments and that you've created some type of study schedule because that will assist you with being in college. Um, also, if you can, you know, look up some testing um, material so that you can kind of train yourself ahead of time before you can eat before you even take the ACT or SAT. Go ahead and start that in eighth grade. That way you won't be so overwhelmed with trying to do it by your junior year. Um, you've kind of laid the foundation between your eighth and junior year so that by, by the time you're junior year, honey, you'll you'll exceed the testing requirements and we can pay for you to come to Tuskegee. That's always the best option. You want to get that top scholarship. So preparing for those tests and different things like that while you're in eighth grade is extremely important. Because once you get to ninth grade, I'm telling you that ninth, tenth, and eleventh grade years, there are extremely important when applying to college. So making sure that you set those kind of foundation and set that standard while you're in eighth grade is, is pivotal. 
Great question, Maddox. All right. No problem, Tanya. Thank you for thank you for your question. All right, let's see. Do you guys consider honor classes the same as AP classes? Yes, we do. Um, so we look at honors and AP as well as IB courses. We look at those, all of those are honors courses in our eyes, and we will reevaluate your transcript. However, if, if I had a decision on whether I would take honors or AP, I would try to do AP because you will be able to take that test. And if you get a three or above, you can use it as a college credit. All right, Kalani, I love your name. Let's see, what are the requirements for the ROT scholarship, ROTC scholarships? Okay, so we do offer every ROTC program except Marine. I mean, we are one of the only colleges um, as well as HGCUs to offer that many ROTC programs. Um, however, their scholarship requirements range by branch, um, but generally they start at a 3.0 GPA and a 20 ACT and a 1000 SAT. That's, that's kind of the general number of where those scholarships begin. But you're more than welcome to visit our website, tuskegee.edu, to get more information on each branch so that you'll know exactly what you're looking for. And they're always looking for um, students to give scholarships to. So it's, it's so important, so important. All right, Finch. Hello, I would like additional information regarding computer science program, video game design path. Okay, so we do have computer science. Um, our path is information science. Um, so if you wanna do video game design path, I would try to do, honestly, computer, I would try to do a double major in computer science and computer engineering. Um, I think that will give you the best option for video video game design, um, and then you can also take some courses. For example, um, in architecture, one of your electives, they have a like a graphic design type course, and they teach you how to build. They don't teach you how to build the people, but they teach you how to build the surroundings, for example, in a video game. So when I'm thinking about a game, let's see. I play Call of Duty all the time. So when I think about Call of Duty, I think about the arenas and different things like that. And so they teach you how to build those stages that you can play in a video game. So that may be something that you want to do, double major in computer science and computer engineering. And then you can take your electives with that, with that architecture, with those architecture courses. And there you have it. No problem. No problem. Thank you for your question. Let's see. Let's see. All right, Jessica. Jessica, I love the way you spell your name. It's beautiful. Okay, what are your dorms like? Oh, our dorms are amazing. I love them. Um, and that sounds so weird, but it's the truth. Um, so our dorms, like I said before, we have community. Some of the dorms are community shower, which means that you share the whole hall shares. I think it's like four to five stalls, four to five sinks, four to five um, commodes. Um, and then we do offer dormitories that have uh, showers where you share with your neighbors. So if it's two of you in one room, you just share with the two people on the other side of you. So we do offer a plethora of dorms. You can visit our website, tuskegee.edu, and I believe it's slash housing. And then you will find more information and photos of our dormitories so that you can see that. And we do not have showrooms. So what you see on those pictures is what you get, which I think is important. All right. Um, M. Hi, M. Hi, I'm a bit late, but I was wondering if you guys support the arts, I like visual arts or graphic design. Yes, M, we do. Um, in our College of Arts and Sciences, we do have visual arts as a major. And then as I was stating before, in our architecture program, they do teach you how to build the surroundings in video games. So if you wanted to, you can major in visual arts and you can either get a minor in architecture or you can just use your electives to take some of those courses. So yes, we do. All right, Caitlin, do you have a journalism or a creative writing program? And what is the tuition? Okay, so journalism, um, we have communications. That is something that our students can, can use if they want to go into journalism. We do have a lot of alum who have gone into journalism. Now it's someone that you may not know, um, he may be a little out of your age range, um, but his name is Mr. Tom Joyner. He was a radio personality for many, many, many years. I remember riding to high school and hearing him on the radio. My mom would listen to him all the, all the time. Um, but he actually graduated from, from Tuskegee, and he 
left a tremendous footprint um, in journalism as well as in the radio um, industry. So if that's something that you want to do, we do have programs here at Tuskegee for that. What is tuition? So the total cost of tuition or the total cost of attendance here at Tuskegee is $32,523. And we do offer uh, four tiers for in-state students and five for out-of-state students um, of scholarships that students can use to cut that cost down. Alasia, thank you. No problem. No problem. Yeah, what is tuition fee for out of state? We do not have out of state tuition. Um, all of our students pay the same amount. So $32,523, that's it for everyone, which I think is extremely important and very helpful to our out of state students. All right, badly joyful. Let's see. Hi, my name is Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. And I was wondering, how is your nursing program better than other colleges? So I was actually a nursing student for three years here at Tuskegee. And um, just kind of a little pat on the back to us, we were the first college in the state of Alabama to offer a nursing program. So we've been doing nursing for a long time. Um, our nursing majors, they get a tremendous amount of hands-on experience, um, both through clinicals as well as through um, the classrooms here on campus that are fitted to give them more of a hands-on experience. Um, one, one of the things that I really appreciated while I was a nursing student was the fact that they actually took care of us. Um, nursing is a very difficult major. Um, it's one of those things to where it's kind of you want it to be hard, you don't want it to be easy. Because I don't know about you all, but I don't want to nurse that had it easy. I want you to have to go through some things where you start sticking this stuff on me. So um, our nursing program does a very good job of training our students. They are diligent. They make sure that you work hard, but they make sure that they take care of you. Um, they'll be a, they will put in the extra work to make sure that you understand and you gain the knowledge, which I think is extremely important. All right, Olivia, are there scholarships for out of state? Yes, we offer five tiers of scholarships. Um, the first tier begins at a 3.1 GPA, a 1030 SAT, and a 21 ACT. Um, that is the bottom tier, which is um, $8,000 per year. And then our top tier is Distinguished Presidential. Um, and that, um, that scholarship is full tuition, room, room and board, and $800 in books. And then we have two others in between that. So we offer four out-of-state scholarships for out-of-state students. Let's see. Enila, Enila, Enila. That's what, Enila. I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, what are the main majors? So our top five majors are animal poultry and veterinary sciences, biology, nursing, mechanical engineering, as well as business. Those are our top five majors here at the university, but we offer a ton of other majors like in education, in agriculture, in architecture and construction science, nursing and allied health, the College of Arts and Sciences. We have a lot in engineering. All right, Jalen, it's your turn. Does your institution offer grad school for occupational therapy program? That's a great question. So it's a bit tricky. Yes and no. No, because um, it's not a program to where you can just um, apply for that program by itself. Yes, because our, our occupational therapy program is five years um, and students graduate with that master's in that program. So when you apply to the university, they have to accept you kind of in the undergraduate phase so that you can transfer into the graduate phase. So it's a yes, yes and no. I hope that made sense to you. Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. How is your animal science program and what is the career path like for the major? OK, I'm going to start there. Our animal science program is amazing. It is the top major here on on campus. One of the things that we offer that many students will not get at other institutions is that even in our undergraduate program, our students get a ton of hands on work. They get a ton of hands on experience. We have over 5000 acres of land. Most of that land is dedicated for our vet students and our animal science students. Um, we have a goat farm. They have horses. They have cattle. Um, we have our own vet hospital on campus. So our students are able to go in there and get experience that way as well, which I think is so important um, because you want to kind of know what you're getting yourself into before you do it. So we allow our students to have that hands on activity. 
And something that I think is really cool is that when I was a student here, they actually got a tiger back there, which I knew a lot of my classmates were kind of going crazy over because they were able to have some experience with um, operating and with assisting a tiger. So I think that's so important. All right, so what is the career path like for that major? Well, um, it really depends on what you want to do. Now, if you wanted to become like a vet tech, um, you're able to do that. If you want to pull out and go through our graduate and doctoral program and become a doctor of veterinary medicine, you can do that as well. Um, many of our students who do the animal science program that end up going through our vet med program and become doctors of veterinary medicine. So what are the requirements for the major for applying? Okay, so the requirements for the major are like the university requirements, we require at least a 3.0 GPA, 21 ACT, and a 1080 on the SAT. I hope I answered your question. Blake, hi Blake, it's okay, it's okay. Our honors class is the same as AP? Yes, they are. Um, we do consider those the same um, as AP and they are weighted the same. So again, if you have a B in the honors course, we'll look at it as A, a C, a B, so on and so forth. Camry, hi. Thank you for joining us. Andrea, do you guys offer a veterinarian program? Yes, we offer a doctor of veterinary medicine program here at the university. We actually, um, excuse me, we have top 10 in the country vet med program. We're the only HBCU with a vet med program, as well as we produce 75% of all black veterinarians in this country. So not only do we offer a veterinary medicine program, in my words, we offer the veterinary medicine program. And we would love to have you. All right, Kayla, do you all accept dual enrollment credits? Yes, ma'am, we do accept dual enrollment credits. Um, what will happen is we will review those dual enrollment credits against our curriculum to make sure that the courses are similar and we accept them. All right, Kimberly. <clears throat> Does a veterinary science have any prerequisites? Thanks for the updated scholarships. Not a problem. So, Kimberly, what do you mean? What do you mean prerequisites? Are you mean, do you mean the undergraduate program or do you mean the graduate program? All right, and I'm gonna come back when, when you answer. Logan, what are the honors dorm requirements? Honors dorm requirements are 3.6 GPA. You have to have a 3.6 GPA to be in our honors dormitories. <clears throat> Camry, so we won't be able to receive scholarships at all if we aren't able to take ACT, SAT. Okay, so as of right now, we are requiring that test for those scholarships. However, you know, in the event that no testing site is available, I'm sure the university will reconvene and then we will have to come up with, you know, a plan B for that. But as of right now, yes, you do have to take that test, okay? So if you're not able to take it, like if there is no, if, if ACT and College Board, if they're not, you know, allowing students to test anymore, then we would have to, you know, make a decision about that. Do you have any art scholarships? So um, in the Office of Admissions, our scholarships are not dictated by majors. However, each department, do, they do have departmental scholarships. So what you will have to do is contact the Visual Arts pro Program and ask them what scholarships that they offer. Also, if you go to our scholarship tab on the admissions page on the website, which is www.tuskegee.edu, you will find a list of external scholarships that are available to incoming students as well as um, returning students. All right, M, do you guys have art majors like fine arts or graphic design majors? Yes, we have visual arts um, as a major. And a lot of students, believe it or not, who want to do graphic design because we do not have that, they do architecture um, because architecture does a lot of online building um, when it comes to making models and different things like that. So students either do architecture or visual arts. And fine arts, we do have music as well as a fine art. All right, Camry. What are you guys' AP crediting policies? Um, we require a three or above to credit you for your AP classes, a three or above on your AP exam. Hi, Ms. Richardson. Um, if you could describe, if you could describe your scholarships. Okay, so um, for our in-state students, our scholarships begin um, at a 3.0 GPA 
at a 21 H or excuse me, 2.8 GPA, a 21 ACT, as well as a 1030 SAT for out of state students. It is a 3.1 GPA, a 21 ACT, 1030 SAT. And then for our top tier scholarship, there are two in between, but I'm going to kind of give you a range. Um, that is um, at a 3.7 GPA, as well as a 1300 on the SAT and a 30 on the ACT. And I hope I answered your question. Do you have any tips on feeling anxious about your college future? Yes, I do. You're talking to someone who is extremely anxious about coming to college. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, and it was something that kind of really scared me a little bit. Um, all I can say to you is make sure that you do your research. You have to find an institution that is a good fit for you, um, because if it is not, then you will not enjoy it. Here at Tuskegee, I think that we're a good fit for everybody. So I hope that your decision is to come here um, to be with us here at Tuskegee, um, making sure that you're looking at not only the academics, but what else do they offer? Um, because even outside of you studying, you're going to want to have some fun as well. So looking at what else the university offers to students is extremely important. Also, um, getting involved, okay? So being involved even before you arrive. Um, here at Tuskegee, I'm going to talk about what we have. We do create groups um, as well as Instagram sites where our students, our prospective students can link up and just have conversation um, and just kind of meet each other. So I think that's something that is extremely important because it will help you feel at home before you even get here, knowing that you know someone, as well as getting involved with your local alumni chapter. Um, Tuskegee National Alumni Association is there everywhere. You can always find an alum. So getting involved with them and they will be able to give you some tips and tricks and hey, go talk to this person, they'll help you out. Um, that is something that I think is, can help put your anxiety at ease. <clears throat> All right, Imani. Uh, does Tuskegee have a psychology program? Yes, and I'm great to speak, of, speak to that because I received my bachelor's in psychology from Tuskegee University. I love the psychology program. It was so, um, it was so helpful for me. Um, because I started as nursing, I didn't really like nursing anymore. I was looking for something to change to, and psychology just really sparked my interest. Um, one of the things that I loved about the program is that it was a lot of hands-on work. So it was a lot of role-playing, a lot of watch this movie, diagnose the patient. It was a lot of conversation to kind of bring the disorders and the things that you were learning about in the book to life. So that was something that I thought was extremely helpful. As well as your senior year, you have to take a class each semester that's called a senior seminar. And in that class, guess what you do? All you do is apply to grad school. So they want to make sure that you um, are ex that you have access to being a to to be able to apply to different grad schools and be accepted so that you can propel in your career because psychology is one of those programs where you have to get a master's degree. So they, they understand that and they have remedied that by assisting our students with getting those scholarships. And every spring semester, the university also offers a graduate graduate college fair, um, which means that all graduate schools for psychology programs, law, uh, um, what else? Anything that you want to do, they come to the university to recruit our students, which I think is extremely important. All right, Brian, what are the requirements for the top scholarships? All right, the requirements for the top scholarship is a 3.8 GPA. Um, it is a 30 on the ACT as well as a 1300 on the SAT. Nyla, do you take dual enrollment credits? Yes, we do um, take dual enrollment credits here at the university. Um, we will compare those course curriculums to kind of see and make sure that they are synonymous with what we offer. But yes, we do, we do take dual enrollment credits. This is my junior year in high school. Okay, okay, just make sure that you stay focused. Try to study for the SAT or ACT um, so that when the test sites open, that you can go ahead and start testing. Because after your junior year, the summer after this junior year, you can go ahead and start applying to colleges. Excuse me. Cameron said, do you guys offer Greek life? Yes, we do offer divine non organizations here on campus. Um, I believe the only ones that we do not offer at this time are, are IOTAs. 
Um, so every other Divine Now organization we do offer here on the university. And for those of you who may not know what that is, those will be your Deltas, Sigmas, Kappas, Deltas, AKAs, Zetas, so on and so forth. Okay. All right. What are all the scholarships that the university offers? Okay, so what I'm going to do since we're getting that question, I'm going to move on to back to our um, presentation so that we can just talk about it. Let's talk about it. And I want you all to be able to see. Let me go down to scholarships. There we go. Play from current side. Okay, so our top scholarship is 3.7 GPA or higher, 27 or higher on the ACT, 1,300 on the SAT. Um, the next one under that is the University Merit. It's a 3.5 or higher, 25 ACT, 1,200 SAT. The one under that is the TU Achievement, 3.3 or higher, GPA, 22 ACT, 1,100 SAT. Down to the Tuskegee University Grant, which is these. this stops for our in-state students. Um, a 3.1 GPA, 20 ACT, 1030 SAT. And then for our in, for our in, that stops for out of state students. For our in state students, a 3.1 GPA, 20 ACT, 1030 SAT. So those are the scholarships that we do offer here at the university. And these are not all of the scholarships, those are just the scholarships um, that the Office of Admissions offers. What is tuition? Okay, let's go to that screen. I want to make sure that you guys um, can see it as well as me saying it, because sometimes, you know, pictures work a thousand words. Okay, let's go. All right, the total cost of attendance is $32,523. And we do offer for in-state students, we offer um, six scholarship, five scholarship tiers, excuse me. And then for our out-of-state students, we offer four scholarship tiers. All right, Cameron, how many applications did you receive? How many applications do you receive per year? What's the application deadline? Okay, so we receive about 10 to 11,000 applications per year. Um, our application deadline, we have rolling admissions. So we're generally always taking applications until about July. Um, that is, we say July 1st is July 1st will be our deadline, but I would advise you to, if you can, go ahead and apply before, I would say before December. If you can't, you can push it out to March, but no later than March. That would be my professional opinion. What is off-campus life like? Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you. Tuskegee is in the country. We are in the country. So um, here at Tuskegee, we do offer a lot of on-campus activities for our students um, to keep them engaged and to keep them kind of, you know, at ease because we believe that idle minds get into trouble. So we want to make sure that you always have something to do. But then we're about 15 minutes from Auburn, Alabama. If you know, um, Auburn University is located there. And so there, there's the mall. We have something called Tiger Town there. There's a lot of eateries and, and restaurants, movie theater. We have an escape, we have two escape rooms. We have a bowling out, two bowling alleys. Um, as well as a plethora of other things for our students to get involved in, as well as we're about 20 to 25 minutes from Montgomery and they offer some of the same things as well. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna say, is your name Asia? I'm gonna say Asia. All right, could we request more information on a certain website? Yes, let me put my email up here. You can email me if you need more information. And that is my email, jrusaw at tuskegee.edu, jrusaw at tuskegee.edu, and we can give you more information. All right, let's see. Let me find the next one. There it is. All right, she, hi, Kayla. I'm a junior high school. How do I prepare for college, such as applying and getting scholarships? Excuse me. Okay, awesome. So, what I, how you can prepare for college. What I would say is go ahead, if you have not solidified study habits, go ahead and try to solidify those study habits now. Um, go ahead and start researching um, your majors and things that you may be interested in to kind of see what you would think you would excel in. 
So, for example, this is why I say that. If you, let's say you're not good at math, okay, and you want to be an engineer. Engineering has a lot of math in it. So if you're not good at math, you've never been good at math, you don't really have an interest in that, engineering may not be the best option for you. Maybe you need to do something in psychology or sociology or something else. Um, so making sure that your interests and the things that you're good, in, good at align with your major, that is so, 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 so important. OK, um, I always say, look at the things that you naturally like to do. For example, me, I like to talk. I like to meet new people um, and I like to solve problems. So initially I did nursing. OK, so in nursing, you get to talk and meet new people and solve problems. But it wasn't really my cup of tea because I didn't really have an interest in science. I was really more of a math girl. Um, so then when I changed my major to psychology, I absolutely loved it and it fit me perfectly. And now I have a position to where I talk and meet new people and I solve problems. And that problem is getting you into college. Um, so it is something that um, I advise every student to do. Center your major, your career path around um, what your interests are. Also, applying and getting, getting scholarships. Um, getting scholarships, what I would tell you to do is go ahead and start studying for those tests. Um, as soon as that test site opens up, you need to be the first thing on that list. Take it as many times as possible because here at Tuskegee, um, we do reevaluate our students. So, for example, if you apply in October and you were awarded a scholarship, but then you took the test again in November and got a higher score, we will reevaluate your, your application and you could possibly get a higher scholarship. So being prepared for those tests and getting those tests done is extremely important, as well as for everyone, you need to apply for outside scholarships. It does not matter how high or low your GPA is, apply, apply, apply. Some good sites to do, um, which our third founder actually founded this site, is the United Negro College Fund. That is a good site to where you can apply for different um, that you can apply for different scholarships, as well as just Googling certain things about yourself. If you are um, a African-American male uh, majoring in nursing, it might be a ton of scholarships that pop up on Google. If you are a, uh, a, a Asian male uh, majoring in business, there are a ton of scholarships that, that will be available to you. So just Googling certain attributes about yourself and seeing what scholarships pop up is a good way of finding more scholarship opportunities. All right, AJ, how many years is being a lawyer? For? How? Okay, so I think you're asking how long does it take to be a lawyer? Um, so you will have to get an undergraduate degree. We do offer pre-law under our political science option. That is four years. And then depending on you, um, I believe that law school is an additional four to five years. And then you would have to take the bar. So you're looking at a minimum of about seven to nine years, somewhere in that to become a lawyer. No problem, Finch family. Henry, what is the best aspect of Tuskegee for me? Okay, the best aspect of Tuskegee for me, this is going to sound so cliche. I know that every college under the sun says this exact same thing, but I'm explaining it. Our family atmosphere. Um, it sounds so cliche, but it is so true. When I applied to Tuskegee, I didn't really know much about Tuskegee um, because I, that name didn't kind of resonate with me. I knew about the syphilis study. I knew about the airmen. I knew about Booker T. Washington, George Washington Carver, but I didn't kind of, I, I never put two and two together. Um, and so when I came here for open house, just kind of see if I wanted to choose this school, I got here and the wealth, like just the warmness that is here, everybody looks out for everyone. People just walk by and wave and that might be the Southern hospitality thing, but it's just such a warm place here. I still have professors that reach out to me to this day, inviting me over for dinner, you know, going out to just catch up. And just having those connections was really important to me because I was away from home. I was away from my family and I'm the only child. So, you know, I, I thought I was going to feel lonely, but having friends and, and new Tuskegee family, um, that was something that was really important to me. So that that's, that true family atmosphere that you will get here um, is something that is really dear and warm to my heart. I felt like violin should have been playing right there. <laughs> All right, Kenry. So how could I reach alum to learn more about the school? That's a great question. 
So depending on where you're from, you can go to the university website and then you will see a tab that says um, family and friends. There you can find a list of all um, TNAA, Tuskegee National Alumni Association presidents. So if you look at Georgia and you see Atlanta, you'll see all the um, club presidents in the city of Atlanta with along with their contact information. So that's how you can reach out to them. Great question, Cameron. Great question. Also, if you need to, if you can't find it, you can email me as well, and I will assist you with getting their contact as well. All right, let me find, find where we are again. There we go. Young. Hi, Young. Um, I'm taking honors classes for my senior year of high school. How would that affect my chances of getting a scholarship? Um, so... Your honors classes can help your GPA, which can help you get a scholarship, but you will also have to take a test score. So ACT or SAT, you also have to take one of those tests and get us a score to be considered for scholarships. But those honors classes could help you because if you're taking, I don't know, like 10 honors courses and you got C's or B's in those courses, to us, those look like B's and A's. So that is something that can really help your GPA and really help you with getting scholarships. All right, Elijah, did you say anything about the dental program? Yes, we do offer pre-dentistry under our biology option. So that is something that students can do um, to get that prerequisite. And then they can transfer or when it comes to grad school. Um, we do have different partnerships with other schools um, for students to get a their master's in um, dentistry. All right, Logan, are you doing in-person campus tours at this time? No, we are not doing in-person campus tours at this time. However, we do have a virtual campus tour on our website, as well as more virtual tours to come. So we do have other options for our students to be able to kind of get a eye view of the campus, although you will not be able to come in person to see it. But hopefully if we all wear a mask, it won't last that long, that much longer. All right, Kayla, what is Tuskegee's admissions rate and graduation rate? Okay, so here at Tuskegee, we have about a 65% admissions rate. And then our graduation rate or our first year retention rate for our students is 75%. And our graduation rate is around 45%. Hi, you guys. So we do have Miss um, Marissa Anderson, who is another admissions counselor and recruiter. Um, here at the university, she is on and she will be kind of answering some of you all's question. All right, what is there to do around campus? Do you have any food choices that are not the Catholic school? Yes. So um, there are a ton of things to do around campus. Again, I said we offer 300 student, over 300 student engagement initiatives. Um, so it's always something to do here on campus. Um, our students typically are involved in a, around six to seven um, extracurricular activities. So you're always gonna be busy. Um, and then food choices, we offer um, several different restaurants. For example, um, we have a restaurant called Loretta's. Now that restaurant is, I wouldn't say it's fine dining, but it's more of kind of like your, your buffet-ish style restaurant that you cannot use your Tuskegee points. I'm gonna explain what that is a little bit later there. You'll have to use real dollars. Um, but then we also have Kick and Chicken. We have the C store, which is like a convenience store. You get nachos and pizza and stuff like that there. Um, we offer a Tex-Mex location as well as um, Marvelous Market, which is Starbucks. Um, so those are the things that we offer here on campus for students who want other options outside of the cafeteria. All right. Do you have any social science or behavior science majors? OK, so, yes. Yeah, so we have we do offer sociology as well as psychology um, for those social science and behavior science majors psychology and sociology. And I actually got my degree in psychology and it was the best decision I ever made. Tuskegee does a really good job of giving you some hands-on experience um, while you're an undergrad to make sure that you're making the right decision in major. All right, Kayla, do you all have any tour times where students can come to the campus just to get a feel of the community and the layout of the campus? At this time, we are not um, doing in-person tours. However, you can do a virtual tour. Um, hopefully, 
we won't be in this uh, COVID-19 thing too much longer. And then we can open up the university again to in-person tours. But at the time being, we are only doing virtual tours. You've heard of him, Cameron? And I feel like you're talking about Tom Joyner and I'm way behind. <laughs> but I'm super excited. Yes. Okay. He's my uncle's friend. Okay, uncle. Uncle, we said hello. Um, do you get credit for IB yet? Yeah. When you say get credit for IB, do you mean college credit? Can you give me more information about the vet program? Yes. Um, so if you will, send me an email. I'll put my email address up. Send me an email to this email address, and I can get you some more information about the vet program. Russo at tuskegee.edu. Okay. Let's see, where did I leave off? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There we go. All right, Tori, is it easy to get recruited for sports? Um, I wouldn't say it's easy to get recruited for sports. Um, however, all you would have to do is go to the university website, <clears throat> and at the top it says Golden Tiger Sports. Um, and then complete that contact form, and then they will ask you more information about yourself so that the coaches know to look at you. So I wouldn't say it's it's easy to get recruited. However, um, as long as you put yourself out there and making sure that you're staying on top of contacting the coaches, sending them your film and different things like that, you can get recruited for sports, yes. CC, hi, CC. Do I have to have the exact GPA and test score for the scholarship? Yes. Um, so for our scholarships, you do have to meet uh, GPA and test score requirement to be considered for that scholarship. How are the LGBTQ plus community treated? Honestly, honestly, they're treated just like anyone else. Um, one of my best friends here at the university was a part of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, and he was treated just like anybody else. Um, you're not discriminated against. You're not treated any differently than the next student. Um, we treat everybody exactly the same um, because we want to make sure that all students have the opportunity to go on and be successful and to be great. And that's honest. <laughs> what is your GPA requirement, SAT, requir SAT and ACT requirement? Okay, so our preferred, um, our preferred admittance requirements are a 3.1 GPA, 21 ACT, and a 1080 on the SAT. Laquila, she said, good evening. Good evening, girl. Just arrived. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are you guys extending the deadlines due to the ACT, SAT testing? So we are going test optional for students who have a 3.0 or higher. Um, however, if you want to apply for scholarship, we, we still require those testing requirements. At this time, no decision has been made to remove that. However, in the event that you know, the testing sites are just not allowing anyone to test. I'm sure that we would have to come back and reconvene and figure out a game plan. But as of right now, it is still required. Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. My stepdaughter is inter interested in a veterinary program. She is currently attending a community college. Can her credits be transferred? Yes, um, depending on what classes that she took. Now, for example, if she took, now this is completely far-fetched, but I just want to paint a picture here. If she took automotive, at her community college that cannot be transferred here because we do not offer that. Um, but as long as the courses that she took are similar to the courses that we have here, those courses can be transferred. And we offer, we also offer um, transfer scholarships, which can be found on our website under the scholarships tab. Great question. Do you have a lacrosse team? No, ma'am, we do not offer lacrosse here at the university. However, we do offer intramural sports, and if that's something that you want to do and want to start up, you can definitely start your own lacrosse team here at the university. We offer our students that option so that they can stay engaged. I've also wanted to always kind of figure out the lacrosse thing. I'm from the South, and lacrosse is not, is not, like I've never seen a lacrosse team ever in life. Um, so, and I think it's more of like a mid, mid, Midwest Northern thing, but I've always wanted to play. I thought it was really cool. So come on down here, girl, so you can teach me how to play lacrosse. <laughs> All right, Joshua, do you have 
a program for computer science where you can get your bachelor's and master's around the same time. No, we do not offer um, one of those bridge programs. However, we do offer a bachelor's in computer science and a master's as well. Um, that is more set up towards cybersecurity. So we do offer that here at the university. Um, also for scholarships, do you need to have SAT and SAT scores since they can't be taken? As of right now, yes, that may change in the future. But as of right now, yes, you will need those scores. Thank you for your question, Joshua. Logan, do you use weighted GPA depending on if you've taken honors courses? If you've taken honors courses, we reevaluate the transcripts anyway, so the weighted GPA is not going to matter, but we typically look at weighted GPAs then. All right, how many full ride scholarships do you guys offer per year? We offer about 12 full ride scholarships per year, so it is extremely important that you get in early. Um, because those scholarships go really fast. So we offer about 12. All right, Kayla, how do we contact you if, if we have shown interest in this university and how can we uh, continue to obtain information? Okay, I'm going to put my contact information on the screen so that you all can see. There you go. That is my contact information. Go ahead and shoot me an email and I'll be happy to give you some more information about the university as well as about any programs that you guys are inter interested in. Plus, I would love to get to know you guys. So y'all talk to me, email me. I would love to build a relationship with you guys. All right. No problem, Jalen. Thank you for your question. Okay. Do you guys have an orchestra program? So when you say an orchestra program, so we offer music as a major. Um, and that is something that you can do. And that is instrumentation as well as voice. So if that's something that you want to do. You can do it there. Um, we do have an orchestra on campus that is um, in conjunction with our band. Um, so if that's something that you want to do. That may be a great option for you as well. Camry, what salaries can you expect when you graduate? All right, to answer that, our median salary for our students is around $55,000, um, which I think is pretty good starting out fresh out of college, so around $55,000. Do you guys offer study abroad? If so, what is required? Yes, we do have study abroad opportunities. They just require that you're in good standing with the university, as well as that you have maintained um, at least a 3.0 GPA. Um, when I was a student, some of my classmates went to all over Europe, actually. It was kind of like a moving study abroad program. But they went all over Europe. I had another um, group of students who assisted with the Ebola outbreak in Africa. Um, that was way back when. Um, however, we do offer other study abroad programs for our students as well. <clears throat> How is the off-campus life? Off-campus life is extremely fun. However, um, on-campus life is better. And I'm going to be honest. We are in the country. Um, so... When it comes to Tuskegee, Alabama, um, there are not a lot of activities to do in the in the Tuskegee, Alabama. However, we are 15 to 20 minutes away from Auburn, Alabama, which you may know of Auburn University. And they have uh, two escape room places. They have two bowling alleys. They have a mall. They have um, Tiger Town, which is like a mall. They have two movie theaters. Um, it's a ton of stuff to do there, as well as 20, 20 to 25 minutes the opposite direction. Is Montgomery, Alabama, which is the capital of Alabama. So they have a ton of things there as well. So, but when I was a student, I would rather stay on campus because it's always something going on from a yard show to a step show to community service to a fashion show to this to that to this and that. So it's always something to do here on campus for our students. All right, Jasmine, thank you for the information. What what if you were unable to set the ACT because of COVID within the state? So um, for students, for example, if students are unable, if College Board or ACT are not testing our students, that is something that we would have to evaluate. As of right now, it is required. As of right now, it is required. If you know COVID persists and they are not testing students, then the university will make a decision at a later date. Lisa, is Tuskegee D1 for men's basketball? No, we are in the SIAC Division II uh, Collegiate or Athletic Conference. Um, so that's what we are, Division II. 
Do you know about the class 2020 physical commencement? No, unfortunately, Sean, I do not know about the class 2020 physical commencement. I am not sure about that. Um, from my understanding, they did a virtual commencement this year. I am not sure about a physical commencement. If you are a student um, who wants more information about commencement, my advice to you will be to contact Student Affairs. Um, they will be best to assist you. No problem, Kay, 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 Kayla. Woo! Getting some tired, you guys. Okay, let's see. Do you have a minor if your major is, is in vet medicine? Okay, so do you have a minor if you're... Are you saying, can you have a minor? Yes, you can. Um, now, if you're in the doctor doctoral program, no, you can't. But in the undergraduate animal and poultry, animal poultry and veterinary sciences program, yes, you can. Do you guys offer Greek life? Yes, we do offer Greek life. Um, we offer all divine nine organizations except the IOTAs. Um, and if you want to be an IOTA, go right ahead. You can do that. Um, but for those of you who may not know what Divine Nine organizations are, those would be your Deltas, uh, Kappas, uh, AKA, Zetas, Sigmas, uh, Alphas, Qs, all of that good stuff. But yes, we do offer them here on campus. Do you guys have an aerospace engineering or computer science degree? We have both. <laughs> um, we do offer an aerospace engineering program. We're actually the number one producer of black um, aerospace engineers, so yes. We do offer that program as well as a computer science degree, as well as computer engineering. So if you want to double major, you can either do aerospace and computer science or computer science and computer engineering. I don't know. Mix it up. <laughs> All right. Elise, Alyssa, Alyssa. Sorry, I just got here. You're OK, Alyssa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Do you guys have a chemistry major? Yes, we do. Um, if so, can I take electives to get me to a forensic science career? Yes, you can. Um, yes, you can. Um, so a lot of our students do do, do um, take electives so that they can go into forensic science. So that is something that you can do. And I would say do something. If you do chemistry, I would say try to do something like health science or something like that. Just says, can you have an occupational therapy program? Yes, we do offer an occupational therapy program. What's special about our program is our program is five years and you graduate with your master's instead of your bachelor's. So we're going to help you save some money and save some time. So, yes, we have a really good occupational therapy program. All right, Pamela. Hi, Miss Pamela. You're so pretty. Um, will there be a summer vet program for high school students 2021? If so, what is the deadline for application? I am not sure if there will be a summer program. If you don't mind, email that email address below that scrolling by, and I will be able to get that information to you and get it, you know, for you and get it to you. Okay. Hi, can a person visit the campus in a car? Um, you can visit the campus in a car. You will not be allowed to get out that car. That means you would have to drive around. Um, I mean, you can do that, but my personal opinion would be to go to the university website and just do the virtual campus tour um, because you're going to see the same things. And I would hate if you're out of town for you to drive down here just to drive around campus um, to see some of the same things that you would see on that virtual campus tour. But again, if you do want to visit us on campus and drive your car around, you will have to complete um, you will have to complete some things with our police department to make sure that you're able to do that. How is your band? Our band is amazing. We were the first, the first, the first HBCU band, um, the Marching Crimson Pipers. So our band is amazing. Um, and if you stay a little while, I'm actually going to play a video from the band. So just stay a little while. Hang out with me. All right, CC. Hi again. Uh, what would be the scholarship for the 3.724 on the ACT? All right, let's see. I'm going to pull it up so you can see it with me, okay? So as you can see, you said a 24, you will be in this range right here, the TU Achievement, um, because that is a 22, and then the one above it is a 25 or higher. So you will fall in the TU Achievement, which is $10,000 per year. However, if you want higher scholarships, you can um, retake that ACT if you can. 
out-of-state tuition. We do not offer out-of-state tuition. All of our students pay the same amount, which is very good, very good. Do you offer psychology as a major? Yes, we do offer psychology as a major. I actually have my bachelor's degree in psychology from Tuskegee. And it is a great, wonderful, the best program ever. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, because a lot of our assignments and the things that we had to do would be role playing, watch this movie, diagnose the patient. It was a lot of hands on things to make sure that the 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 diagnoses um, and the different things in our books kind of stood out to us and actually made sense. Because it's going to be hard for you to, to understand what is uh, schizophrenia and multiple personality disorder. How do you tell the difference? In a book, they look exactly the same. Um, but actually seeing them manifested in role play in a person can help make that difference. All right, can can person visit in their own vehicle? Um, you can visit in your own vehicle. I wouldn't advise it simply because you're gonna see the same thing that you will see on the virtual uh, campus tour. Um, however, you will need to let the Tuskegee University Police Department know um, because they will have to do some screening before you are allowed on campus. How do you feel on campus? What do you mean, how do I feel on campus? Um, I feel great. <laughs> I'm talking to you guys. Do you offer athletic scholarships? Yes, they do offer athletic scholarships in our various athletic programs. What students will have to do if you go to um, the university website at the top, you'll see something that says Golden Tiger Sports. You will be able to fill out a contact form so that you are considered for those scholarships. What are the engineering majors? All right, let me pull that up for you. One second. Let me share my screen so you can see. All right, so uh, we offer aerospace engineering, chemical engineering, computer engineering, electrical engineering, and mechanical engineering. So those are our engineering programs and what we offer here at the university. How was your nursing program? Um, I was a nursing major for three years. Our nursing program was extremely hands-on. They made sure that we gained the material because nursing is a very difficult major, rightfully so, because I don't know about you, but I don't want a nurse and doesn't know or hasn't been through anything poking on me. So um, because it's so difficult, they make sure that they are extremely hands-on with the students to make sure that you're gaining the material. And not only that, but make sure, making sure that you're passing the licensure exam. So um, it is something that I extremely love. We were the first college in the state of Alabama to have a nursing program. So that speaks volumes. We were the standard of nursing programs. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Pam, is there a limit on out-of-state applicants? No, there is no limit. The more the merrier. Y'all, everybody apply. <laughs> there is no limit for out-of-state applicants. No ma'am. B. Green, what is the ranking for your nursing program? Can you declare it as a major your freshman year? So I'm going to answer the second question first. Um, so we have a thing when students apply for, I'm going to say for all of them, for nursing, for occupational therapy, as well as, um, as well as um, education. Students will come in as pre-nursing for that, pre-occupational therapy, and then education, you would just be regular education, but they do have separate requirements. So um, you apply for the occupational therapy program your sophomore year, um, and no, excuse me, your junior year, and then you apply for the nursing program after your sophomore year. So although you won't be a nursing major just yet, you will be pre-nursing, and then you can apply for the nursing program after your sophomore year. I hope that explains it. Seven to nine. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It's gonna take a minute um, because nurses. I mean, nursing school, law school is not easy at all. So it's gonna take a minute, but it's worth it. You'll be making a lot of money. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, Miss Pam, how long does it take to become a vet doctor? Um, I believe our vet school is four years. Four to five years. So um, they actually in in animal science, animal poultry and veterinary sciences, they have a three in one program, which means that you will do three years of undergraduate, and then your senior year will be your first year in graduate school. So you can cut that time down some, but they only allow that for students who are extremely scholastic. So um, if you come in with an extremely high GPA test score, all of that good stuff, 
they can opt you into that program and you can save a seat in grad school your freshman year in college, which I think is so amazing and so um, a great opportunity for our students. Could you talk about the branches of military that you ha have at Tuskegee? Sure thing. So here at Tuskegee, we offer Army ROTC, Air Force ROTC, um, and Navy ROTC. Um, we offer all three programs and Marines. If you want to do Marine, they offer, they operate under the Navy. Um, and so we are the number one producer of black officers in the military. So our, um, our ROTC programs are renowned. Every year during graduation, it's so funny, or it's not funny, it's cute, um, but they get up, the people who are enlisting um, in the military, they get up and they'll take their cap and gown off and they'll have their army or you know whatever branch they're in uniform on and it's such a special moment. So um, here at Tuskegee, our RT pro ROTC programs are excellent, are excellent. I consider doing that, um, but they woke up too early for me. So I never did it. <laughs> are you doing campus tours? No, we are not doing in-person tours, but we are doing virtual tours. So if you look on the website, tuskegee.edu, www.tuskegee.edu, you will find the link to our virtual tours, as well as we have more to come. No problem, Camry. Thank you for your questions. Thank everybody for your questions. I, we really appreciate the feedback. Um, what are your acceptance rates, out-of-state students, and band? Okay. What are your acceptance rates, out-of-state students, and band? Also, how do you feel on campus? Okay, so let me, let me, could you reword that question? Um, because I'm kind of confused on what you're asking. Um, so reword that question for me, and then I'll answer that on the back end, okay? How would you describe Tuskegee in one word? Hmm. How would I describe in one word? Hmm. I would say Tuskegee is groundbreaking. I would say that. And the reason I say that is because Tuskegee not only has a rich, rich, rich history, but we are known for producing students who are excellent, like in their fields. Um, I have classmates. One of my classmates just won a, a Super Bowl ring with the, oh, Lord, I am not a football fan. I believe it's the Chiefs. Whoever won like last year, the year before, I believe it was the Chiefs. But he won a Super Bowl ring. I have another classmate who uh, works for the 49ers. Um, I have other classmates who are acting lawyers now, who are big in real estate. I have classmates who are big on social media, social media influencers who have started their own businesses. And so here at Tuskegee, we are known with giving you the foundation so that you can succeed in life. We don't want to just educate you to make sure that you're good at doing a job. We want to make sure that you are a good citizen to society and that you're an active lifetime learner. And so those are some of the things that we set as a foundation for our students so that once they graduate, they go on to be great at whatever they decide that they want to do. So that is that is groundbreaking. Or I, or, or I should say, like Future says, sensational. <laughs> do you have a physical therapy program? No, we do not have a physical therapy program. Um, but students who want to do physical therapy, they can do occupational therapy. That is something that our students can do. So um, we're going to take a quick little break. Um, one minute. We're going to take a one minute break. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play for you guys a video um, on why Tuskegee is amazing and why I think you should all choose Tuskegee. OK, so just give me one second. Let me share the screen and don't go anywhere. We're going to come right back.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that video um, just about some of the things that we do offer here on campus. So how is your English major? So our English program is really good. It prepares students um, not only for, you know, if you want to do English language arts, we do have that in our education program. But if you just enjoy writing or you want to go into journalism or anything like that, um, we, our English program helps our students with that as well. No problem, Imani. Thank you, Alexis. Alexis Marie. My middle name is Marie, too. Hello, girl. Um, so can I get more information about the agricultural program? Sure thing. Just email that, that email that's scrolling down below. Email me there, and I can get you more information. What are the qualifications for a full scholarship? Okay. So the qualifications for our full scholarship, let me pull that up so that you can see it with me, so that we are one on one accord, okay? Let's see. There we go. Okay, so for a full ride, which is full tuition, room and board, fees, and $800 in books, our minimum GPA is 3.7 or higher, ACT 27 or higher, and SAT 1300 or higher. And then for those of you who asked what the acceptance rate is, that acceptance rate is around 60%. Logan, I have a 4.5 AGPA. Okay, great, Logan. On a weighted scale, is that on a 5.0 scale or a 4.0 scale with AP classes? Are there scholarships available? Do you need test scores this year? For scholarships as of right now, yes, we are requiring test scores that may change in the event that um, – you know, students are not able to test, we will revisit, but as of right now, you will have to take your test. Also, what are the qualifications for the lowest scholarship? Okay, so the lowest scholarship requires at least a, for in-state students, a 3.1 or higher, 20 on the ACT and, or excuse me, a 2.8 or higher, 20 on the ACT and 1030 on the SAT. And then for out-of-state students, 3.1 or higher, 20 ACT, 1030 SAT. All right, do you have to take the SAT and ACT? So as of right now, we are test optional. So if you have a 3.0 or above, you do not have to take those exams, um, but you will have to submit a letter of recommendation. Um, but if you are below that requirement, you will have to submit a SAT or ACT score. Do I have, do you have IB scholarships? We do not have IB specific scholarships. No, we do not. However, we do accept our scholarships. So if you apply for an outside IB scholarship and receive it, we will accept it here at the university. All right, Tanya. Are there any jobs offered on or near campus for students who would like to work part-time? Yes, we offer work study here on campus. 
we have actually had work study students in our facility admissions um, they have been financial aid. Pretty much every department on campus has work study for our students, excuse me, as well as our students can um, work through our cafeteria, which is Thompson Hospitality. They can work through there as well if they desire. Um, they can be an RA and that will help um, with getting them funding. As well as we do have businesses around campus, for example, um, we have something called um, um, C and K wings, they can work there. We have Dollar General, CVS, uh, Roses, McDonald's, Burger King. Like we have all those things where students can get part time jobs as well. Logan, what is early application deadline for admissions? I would say early application deadline. Um, we're rolling admissions, so our deadlines are. Um, we don't really have hard deadlines, but I would say that you would need to apply before December if you can. March at the latest. See, Charles, are freshmen allowed to have cars on campus? Yes, you are allowed to have cars on campus. The only thing you would need is the decal, which is about, I believe it's like $75 a year for the academic year. Can freshmen get into honors dorms? What are the, yes, freshmen can get into honors dorms. Um, these dorms include, they, our honors dorms are the most renovated dormitories, and so you will share a shower with your neighbors. And then they do have, um, typically all the dorms have like a study hall or something in each dorm room for the students. If you apply early, when do you typically know if you've been accepted or not? So um, our application is not yet open. Um, so if you apply, we typically say it takes about uh, two to three weeks to get a decision made um, to you, um, but we're moving to a different format, so you could get it within a week, week and a half. Kendall, do you have virtual high school visits? Yes, we do offer virtual high school visits. If you are a counselor that is requesting a virtual high school visit, or if you are a parent who wants us to visit your child's high school virtually, please email that email scrolling down below um, with your, that um, with that high school name and contact information, and we'll be sure to set something up. Thank you for your question. Are there any on-campus jobs? Yes, there are on-campus jobs. You can do work study where you can work in any department on campus, as well as you can work for Thompson Hospitality, which is our cafeteria, as well as they manage the different um, restaurants on campus. Or you can work off campus at different, um, for example, McDonald's, Burger King, um, CNK, we have Subway, different things like that. Birthday friendship. Hello, birthday friendship. <laughs> do you offer culinary program? No, we do not offer culinary arts, but we do offer food, nutritional, food and nutritional sciences, which a lot of our students who want to go into culinary arts take because it allows you to get more insight on the science behind food so that you can be a better chef. So I watch a lot of like top, uh, top, Top Chef, is it Top Chef? I think it's called Top Chef. I watch a lot of that, like the baking shows, um, like Zumbo's test. I watch that. I watch Chopped. I watch a lot of that. And a lot of things they talk about is about the science of food, to know about the acidity of this, the sweetness of this. So getting a degree in that will help you to kind of be more knowledgeable about those things. C. Charles, do you have a dance program? No, we do not offer dance as a major or a minor. However, we do have dance. We have three dance organizations. We have um, Exposed, which is more like a dance troupe. Uh, we have the Piper Reds, which are for our um, band. And then we also have Golden Essence, which typically dances for our basketball team. Congratulations, Logan. I don't know what we're saying congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> What time is what time is this offer? What time is over? What time is this over? It's over at six o'clock. Do you guys have a pre-medical program? Yes, we do have pre-med. Um, that is in our biology program as well as our chemical engineering program. So we offer two pre-med options for our students. IB scholarships. No, we do not offer IB specific scholarships. However, we do accept IB specific scholarships from outside sources. Z. Michelle, do you have a computer science program? Yes, we do have a computer science program as well as a master's program here on campus. And then we also offer computer engineering for students who may want to 
um, kind of visit that option or kind of consider that option as well. Baby face Shay, <laughs> do you have veterinary, any veterinarian programs? Yes, we do offer veterinarian programs. Um, we have animal poultry and veterinary sciences, as well as we are the only HBC with our vet school. So here at Tuskegee, you can come in um, a fresh high school graduate, but you can leave a doctor of, veter a doctor of veterinary medicine. So it's a great program, and we produce over 75% of all black veterinarians. So we're, oh, yes, we're over, um, this is over at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. How many valedictorians have attended Tuskegee? I am not sure, Camry, but if you send that to me in an email, I'll be sure to get that information as best we can to you, okay? Yes, we do have a marching band. We are actually the home of the HBC marching band. Our marching band is called the Marching Crimson Pipers, and I am going to show a video for them shortly. So just sit tight and I'll get that out for you. What is the out-of-state cost per year? There, we do not have out-of-state tuition. All of our students pay the same. So the total cost of attendance is $32,523. And we offer four scholarship tiers for in-state students and five for out to cover that um, expense. Ava, how many DEAP credits can you take that won't knock you out of freshman status? like not hurt you from receiving scholarships. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many courses that you've taken, um, you will always, if you if you graduate high school, the May or June or however you graduate, you graduate high school that month before you come, you will always be considered an incoming student and be considered for incoming scholarships. Shaniqua. Are your engineering programs four or five years? They are four years. And then we offer master's degrees in some of those um, programs as well. What is your acceptance rate to medical school? We do not have, are you talking about for our um, current students? Um, I will have to get that information back to you. If you don't mind, email me down here below and I'll make sure to get that information to you. How can someone reach to reach you? So down here at the bottom scrolling is my name and my email address where you can reach me. And before we move on, I'm gonna go ahead and play our next video. Um, I wanted you guys to kind of get a better understanding of what we offer here at Tuskegee. So give me one second and I'm gonna get that playing for you guys. All right, so I was just informed that you all can hear. Oh no. Okay, so that was actually our president, Dr. Lily McNair, directing our band in our infamous song, Ball and Parlay. So hopefully we will be able to play that a little bit later for you guys. We're gonna move on. So do you all have RCC programs? Yes, we do have three RCC programs. Those are Army, Air Force, and um, Navy RCC. And if you want to do Marine, they operate under the Navy. So yes, and we are the number one producer of black officers in the military that is above any other military college or any other university in this country. Do you have study abroad programs? Yes, we do offer study abroad programs um, for our students. 
Um, what you will have to do is when you when you arrive, when you arrive, talk to your advisor, and they will be able to assist you with what study abroad, abroad programs are offered for your particular major. All right, Mercedes, our GPA requirement is at least a 3.0 GPA. Students with below that can still be considered. However, we will require supplemental documents, um, and we will evaluate you based on those documents. How's the baseball team? We have a really good baseball team here at the university, um, and you can get more information about their stats and different things like that on the Golden Tiger Sports uh, link on our website, tuskegee.edu. You guys have some really good questions. Really good questions. Thank you. What are the different dorm options? So if you go to our website, tuskegee.edu slash housing, you'll be able to see the different dorm options that we have and what they actually look like. Um, so we do have several options for male and female. We do. We have um, one co-ed dorm, which is James Hall. And it's like girl floor, boy floor, boy floor, girl floor girl floor, boy floor. So it's not like we don't have any co-eds to where you'll be staying next to a guy. All of our dorms are um, sex specific, so male or female. Yes, we do offer the veterinary medicine program. Our undergraduate de degree is an a, um, animal, poultry, and veterinary sciences, and then we offer a doctor of veterinary medicine program. We prefer, okay. What is the graduation rate? Um, the graduation rate for our students is about 45%. How are you guys law school? So we do not offer law, we do not have um, a law school on campus. However, we do offer the undergraduate um, requirement, which is political science with a specialization or option in pre-law. And students use that to go on to law school. And a good, a good segue or a good Thing to mention there is that Marilyn Mosby, many of you may know her. Um, if you don't know her name, you will know her face specifically. Uh, she represented Tamir Rice in his case, and she is the youngest DA in Baltimore. Baltimore. Her and her husband did graduate from the university. So um, they, that's, they, are a, they were produced here at Tuskegee University. Hello, I was wondering about internships, specifically animal science ones. So animal science, you are allowed to get internships during the summers and co-ops, um, as well as getting hands-on um, experience here on campus through our vet hospital. We are about, I would say about 30 to 35 minutes away from the Montgomery Zoo, um, as well as we are about two hours away from Atlanta. So you can internship at the Atlanta Zoo as well. So that is some things that our students do. Those are some things that our students do. When will the Scott applications be open? Applications will be open in uh, the next couple of weeks. Um, if you can, follow our um, admissions Instagram page. And I'm going to put that up. Let me stop that so I can type this and put this up there. Um, our inst admission Instagram page, that is where you will get uh, more information about when the when our application is open and different um and different things regarding admissions. Apply to Tuskegee. That is our Instagram. We have an Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook page. So go ahead and follow all of them. Go ahead and do that. We'll really appreciate you. All right, let me get back to the comments. Okay. Um, so for the test optional, we send the standard application and recommendation letter. Um, so there will be a test optional application when you go in, whenever our, our um, applications open, um, you will be able to go in and select um, test optional and then the recommendation will pop up. So just be just be on the lookout on our Instagram page so that you will know when the application opens up for you to apply. Hi, Jordan. Do you have anything pertaining to dentistry or do you have biology and chemistry? We have all three. So under our biology option, we have something called pre-dentistry. So that is something that you can use to go on to dentistry school. Would you recommend your English major for becoming a lawyer? Yes, you actually can become a lawyer with uh, pretty much any major. Um, but students do, students at the university that either do psychology or English typically um, if they want to go into law school. So yes. <clears throat> and we actually have, they have a law graduate college fair that comes to the university um, every year. So that's something that's really important. 
you guys have majors pertaining to dentistry or biology and chemistry? Yes, ma'am. Um, we have all three. Um, and then our biology option, there is a pre-dentistry option. You guys have a mirror sign language as a foreign language. Unfortunately, we do not. Um, we do not have that as a foreign language as of right now. Do you guys have a forensic psychology program and do you have a cheer team? Yes, we have a cheer team. No, we do not have forensic psychology. However, if that is something that you want to do, um, you can um, do your internships, get some co-ops in forensic psychology. That way you'll be more apt with getting a great job in forensic psychology. Or if you want to go to grad school, um, you'll have that experience for that as well. Yes, we do have a nursing program. We have the oldest nursing program in the state of Alabama. Um, it is a very hands-on program, and they do their best, and they do a really good job of making sure that our students are prepared for the real world. Fee waivers. Yes. Okay, so unfortunately, we do not provide fee waivers, but we do accept fee waivers. But I will say, please, if you can, follow our um, Tuskegee um, social media accounts. Again, that's Apply to Tuskegee at Apply to Tuskegee, that is on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And some information will come out that I think you'll like. There's no sound, got it. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. What is the student, what is the student ratio for the communal bathrooms? Um, so as of right now, it's a bit funny because there are not a lot of students in our dormitories. Um, they we kind of have them spread out, um, but typically they're about, I would say, maybe maybe 10 rooms on every floor, maybe 10 rooms on every floor, and there are two people per room. So that's that will be the communal shower ratio, student ratio. And last question for the evening. Hi, let's see, is it Tangy? Tangy? Miss Wilson. Hi, darling. How are you? Um, welcome to the chat. Not sure if you discussed this, but do you all have internships for criminal justice, political science? Yes, we do um, allow our students to take advantage of internships for political science and criminal justice, if that is something that you want to do. Jordan, do you accept American Sign Language as a foreign language? Um, that is something that I will have to get back to you with. I have never seen that as a recruiter. Admissions counselor, I have never seen that, um, but that's something I would have to get back to you with. I don't see why not, um, but be sure to email me and let me put my email back up on the screen. Be sure to email me that question so that I can make sure that I can get the necessary response um, to get back with you on that. Great question, though. Great question. Great question. All right. L. Prince. Basic admissions requirements and scholarships. Okay, our basic basic admiss, admissions requirements is a our preferred admissions rather is a 3.0, a 21 ACT, and a 1080 on the SAT. Scholarships begin at a 3.1 GPA, 21 ACT, and 1030 on the SAT. Will incoming freshmen be allowed on campus dorms? Yes, they will. Incoming freshmen are allowed in campus dorms as of this year. Yes, we do have income. We have current freshmen um, that came in for this current fall semester in our dormitories now. Hi, I was wondering if you have a early childhood program. Yes, we do. Early childhood education. And also, is there a band program that gives scholarship opportunities? Yes, there is. The Marching Crimson Pipers. And if so, how can we get in touch with the director? Yes, so... Um, the director, and I'm going to try to pull it up while I'm talking to you guys, um, Mr. John Q. Lennard, um, he will be a great contact um, for you guys to get in touch with when it, in terms of scholarships and different things like that. So I'm going to try to pull him up while I am talking. So if I'm looking over, that is what I'm doing. OK, guys. Um, but that will be a great resource so that you can. Um, get scholarships and different things like that. So I'm going to move on to the next question. Oh, that's the last one. Um, while I'm looking for this, um, this contact information for you. His name is John Q. Lennard. John Q. Lennard. Let's see here. There we go. John Q. Lennard. Give me one second. And there we have it. Let me, let me share my screen so you guys can see this.
So I don't know if you all can see that. I think it's doing something that has no business. So I'm just going to read it out to you. The number is 334. And actually, I'm going to put it down here in the banner so that you all can see it. How about that? I think that'll be this. His name is John Q. Bernard. And his contact is 334. 724-4789. His email is jlenard at tuskegee.edu. We have it. That is his info. jlenard at tuskegee.edu. That is good. Con uh, um, that is good contact for you all to go ahead and apply for those scholarships. And if you go on the um, the band page on the website, it has in big requirements. There's their um, scholarship requirements in big letters. There's scholarship requirements. Okay. Let me go back to the chat and put my information up there. Hide this, and let's see if you guys have any more questions. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. I'm going to do it. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you joining. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight. It was extremely fun. I hope you guys had a good time as well and you gained so much information. And we hope to see you all um, in the fall next year. We hope that you guys come and join the Tuskegee family. My name is... Girl, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Um, but are you all test optional for class of 2021? Yes, we are. We are test optional for class of 2021. Evening, what are the requirements for ACT and SAT scores for a 2022 high school graduate? What scholarships do you offer? Thank you. So um, as of right now, they may change by 2022, but as of right now, we are, we are requiring a 3.0 GPA, at least a 21 ACT, um, and a 1080 SAT. If you have anything below that, it will require um, some additional documentation so that we can make a decision. Um, and then scholarship that we offer, the requirements right now begin at a 3.1 GPA, a 21 ACT, and a 1030 SAT. No problem, Kayla. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you guys, be sure to utilize my email address down here at the bottom. You guys connect with me. I would love to connect with you. Um, we can set up more. If you want to, we can set up some more Zoom sessions. If you guys want more information, um, if you would like to, for me to set up Zoom sessions with maybe the band or a different department, I can do that as well. Just email me so I can know what you guys want to make sure that we're giving you the information that you need for you guys to make a, an, an, an informed decision. Okay. Um, so thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed. Thank y'all. I really appreciate it. Y'all make me feel good. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining us and I'm going to play one more video and we're going to try to play this ball and parlay video again and then we're going to be out of your hair okay one second let me pull it up for you y'all let me know if you can hear it
All right, you guys, again, thank you so much for joining the Office of Admissions and Recruitment for our virtual information session. Again, we hope that you have gained so much information during this information session. Should you have any more questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me down below. Um, please feel free to visit our website and don't forget to follow our social media handles. Apply to Tuskegee. That is on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We would love to have you and that is what we're going to be putting some important updates in the next couple of weeks. So thank you guys so much for joining us and you all have a wonderful night and make sure that you are staying 